SAS video tutorial on group summaries and histograms in SAS. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. All right, so we're back at Proc Univariate again. We're going to use the Cycler CPK data, which we've been using before, which is located in the repository in the link in the description below. You can learn how to read that in uh, in a previous video. All right, so we've been playing with Proc Univariate. Proc Univariate is very, very powerful. So what we want to learn how to do is use this to our advantage. So one of the things we might want to do is break up our data by some other variable. And if I look at this, I have uh, here age, and then I have gender, and I also have treatment. So what I might want to do is break up the ages across gender and maybe even look at the uh, ages across treatment. So let's add this in really quickly here because it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in here class. And if you remember, gender was one of the uh, classes. And if I just add this, simply add this to my output or my statement, notice what I get. I'm going to get two outputs. And this one is the output for gender equals male. And I'm also going to get one for the output gender equals female. Okay, so it's going to give me two sets of outputs that uh, are different from each other. And I can look and see by gender what's going on. Now also notice that one of our other variables was treatment and we have to go back maybe and look and see how to spell that because it's TRT which we may not have remembered and we might have actually wrote the word treatment. So if I do it by TRT I can run this and notice that now at the top I'm going to get the treatment of none, I get the treatment of medium, and these uh, are organized alphabetically, so they may not be uh, how you would like to think about it. Uh, the treatment is low, and the treatment is high uh, in this particular case, and it has it for each one of these. Now, the other thing you might want to do, which is kind of fun, is I'm going to go back here to gender. Uh, what we can do now is we can actually create and put on here histogram. And we can put in here, we're interested in the histogram of age, and let's see what this does. If I run this together, notice it produces a histogram for each. It says gender equals male over here, so this is the one for the males. Gender equals female over here, so this is the one for the females. So I can actually look at the distributions uh, via the histograms and compare them because they're right on top of each other and on exactly on the same scale, which makes this kind of useful. We could also try to do this for treatment. So let's go back and give this a go for treatment. And all I really have to do is just change this to TRT and give this a go and let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so this one has it broken up because there's only so much space on each panel and has treatment none, treatment medium, treatment low, treatment high, and so on. So you can see the age distribution. And notice that treatment high, almost nobody who was young got this treatment. So that might be concerning uh, when you're looking at this. But this gives us a way to lay these histograms right on top of each other and look at them. And you can export these if you want. I believe if we come back here and we specify one other option on this, we can get all of them maybe on one plot. So if we do n rows equals four, I'm going to highlight all this, give this a run, and notice it put them all on the same panel. Before we had it broken into two panels here, it's jammed them forcibly all onto one panel. And this one is actually still readable. So once you get too many on the of these on there, you really can't read between them. But this one is actually readable. Okay, so now we know how to do this sort of analysis where we're getting at results grouped uh, by each group. And we can get both pictures for them and the individual analysis, which happen to exist up here by their different groupings, right? Treatment none and so on. So now that we know how to do this, we can move on to the next video.